Okay, now that we're at the stage where we've got our mannequin sitting here, uh, what we're going to do is go over to just underneath where the name is. Can we click the body? And then we can roll up the skeletal mesh, double click it. Sorry, we're going to go over to our skeleton. We have to make sure that we have selected humanoid, select a rig, go to select humanoid rig. And then change the spine 0, change that to spine 2, spine 2, spine 3, and spine 3 to spine 4. That's basically all we do there. Show it back. Now, I've already done it, but what you're going to see is that with the index 1 here, once you've shown advance, change that to index metacarpal. Index 2, change to index 1. Index 3, change to index 2. So, copy what I've got here. Index, metacarpal, index 1, index 2. And same with every finger. Middle metacarpal, pinky metacarpal, ring metacarpal. Leave the rest. Go down to your right hand where you've got your index metacarpal. So it'll be index metacarpal, 1, 2. And then middle metacarpal, 1, 2. Pinky metacarpal, 1, 2. Ring metacarpal, 1, 2. And all good. And once that's done, you can hit save. Go over to your skeletal tree, options, go to retargeting, um, these two, animation, animation. Now, if this one is not skeleton, what you're going to do is right click it and go to recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. That's a sentence. Then you'll have to go down to the thighs, okay, down to your thigh, right click that and recursively set, bang. Um, if it's anywhere else, the other thigh, right click. And then your very last one down the bottom. Right click and make sure. So that every one of these say skeleton. And the last, the top two say animation. Save that. So then we've got to go to our actual mannequin. To the UE mannequin. And we make sure that it is set to humanoid. So that it sees pelvis one, two, three. So both of these. And we can go here to show it's for targeting. So it's, we've got the UE before mannequin skeleton. We've got the UE4 mannequin skeleton. So it's skeleton tree, says animation, animation. All the rest says skeleton. Beautiful. And we've got the metahuman, animation, animation. All the rest says skeleton. Beautiful. Same with, it recognizes, same. Show back to show base again. And if we go up to here, we've got two, three, and four, which will equal, when we go to a mannequin, one, two, and three. So, save that. Save that. Now, what we're going to do is close both of those off. And we can go back to our mannequin, uh, back to our content, back to our metahuman. So, metahumans, and then back to our character, Robin. We're going to right-click and go to uh, blueprint class go to character bp underscore character underscore robin double click open both of these right so we open that one all right go to event graph put that down to there go back to there and now open the actual proper one so what we've got is robin and then the character robin so in Robin, we'll go to the event graph. We're going to grab all of this. Control C. Go back to our character. Go to the uh, event graph. Here we are. All good. And then go Control V. Do, uh, create matching. Confirm. All right. So then it's going to one day give me the option to get rid of that crap. Okay. So we take that there, and we were going to link that to that one there very good and then we're going to go back to here we'll go back to our arc kit click that grab all of that on robin Control c go back to our character arc kit Control v and uh, then we can basically grab this one here and cast a face then we're going to go back to our construction script Grab Control C and then go to there. Go to our construction script. 
control B, create matching, confirm there, and we can connect our construction script to the enable master pose. Pretty good. All right, so then we can go back to here, go back to our enable master pose, control C, and then go back to our character, go back to enable master pose okay now control B now with this setup here what we want is to connect through from this one to that one we want to grab that one and connect to that little target there and that target there and then that target ah annoying that and then that target over there Okay, so then we go back to Robin, we grab this variable, control C, go back to here, um, control B, then we go back to this one, grab the next variable, control C, and then go back to variable control B. So then we go back to Robin and we grab the body down to the LOD and uh, control C and we add that to the mesh, control B. So if we hit compile, we have it working. Excellent. Now, what we want to do is go back to this, go back to our content, uh, third person blueprint, keep uh, the character Robin open. Let me go to blueprints, um, third person character, uh, go to your event graph, grab all these little goodies, it makes it work. Control C. And then we're going to go back to our character Robin, go to the event graph, um, control V, put all that in. We're going to have to go back to third person character and grab the base rate, control C, put that over into Robin, into the variables, control V. Go back to third person, grab the base lookup rate, control C, back to character Robin, uh, variables, control V. All right, so that should be correct mundo very nice okay so then when we go back to here what we've got to do is uh, so we are down to we can go back to our meta human back to Robin and we grab our character and we drop them down onto the floor and see what happens they're too high right so what we're going to do is nick back to the character Robin back to viewport and uh, grab the body bring it down a little bit to there okay I'm going to right turn that and make it 90 degrees bang and then we're going to go up to add component camera bang okay then we can go hit the big W and go back a little bit up a little bit nicely to the head okay compile that and that's done we should be able to see a person standing on the ground again with a camera behind them. Very nice. Mannequin, animations, third person animation blueprint. Right click that. Retarget animation blueprints, duplicate. So then we'll choose the meta human that we've added in. Change this to the folder where they are so that their animations stay together with the character. Hit that and retarget. But in us. So once they're in, we can then go over to, we hit our body, um, make sure that uh, animation is changed to animation blueprint, and then the third person animation will be the one that makes them jump. Okay, once you see that person jump into the mode, then they're in. Next thing, go back to the BP character itself and go down to the very bottom there's two little cat features here auto possess player zero and auto receive input is zero so hit save and hit play okay and there's your character now Remember, if you don't like the ca the, uh, the ca where the camera is or how close it is, hit escape and go back to your character and just move that camera back. Okay, so that camera really, you are the director. Just sit there, move it. And so, compile it again. 
there. We've got a little bit more space this time. Okay, so you can adjust it. All right. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. Please uh, subscribe and like, and stay tuned for part three where I put a uh, NPC as a meta human. Also, I'm going to teach the meta human uh, character to walk forwards, backwards, left and right, look up ahead, give them more of a personality. Thanks very much. This is Animated Live 3D. You have a nice day.